my beautiful peeps. This isn't a fancy video. It's just a quick update. I just wanted to see how you guys are and, and let you know that I'm viewing everyone's videos, but I just haven't had a chance to comment. I've been crazy busy at work and um, haven't been able to really look at them and comment, but I've been viewing them and doing my part in that way. Um, just want to let you guys know that I'm not pregnant. Um, cycle day three right now, depressing. And it's October, so that's Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. And so, um, kind of forgot about that, right, until it happened. Lately, I've been in my feelings. I had a spout of depression a few weeks ago, but I think I finally beat it. I'm okay now. A lot of things happened. Personal, um, you know people announcing pregnancies and giving birth and all that fun stuff and while I'm so happy for them I still long for it for me and I feel like it's not gonna happen so I'm trying to change my mindset trying to be more positive trying to be happier and giving it to God completely and so hubby and I are now changing our diet while well, being better with the diet because we were eating well before this but because of my depression, I just ate whatever the hell I want and I gained 10 pounds. And so now I am losing that weight, eating healthier, cutting out alcohol, and doing all these things to see if this will help me become pregnant. I'm also taking the prenatal vitamin, vitamin D, selenium, um, another one, vitamin B complex. And I'm taking this... Um, it's like this herb that you drink three times a day and it has maca, black haw, and a couple other stuff that's really good for um, your fallopian tubes and your ovaries and your lining. And so I'm trying it all, you know, like I'm just gonna detox my body, no dairy, no fried foods, no crap. Because the last time I did this, um, 2016, and I lost like a 10 pounds and I did all this. I became pregnant, but then I lost it because I didn't know I needed progesterone. And so, this time around, I know I need progesterone, so I'm ready for that. And, yeah, I'm just praying that it happens for us naturally because we're not going to be doing IVF at all unless somebody made a GoFundMe page and gave me all that money. So, it's not going to happen, sadly. Um... So we only can rely on natural because no one wants to do IUIs for us anymore. I think I'm about to go to a new fertility doctor and tell them that we've never done an IUI and that we've been trying for only a year and that we can't get pregnant. I feel like honestly starting from scratch and lying to somebody because every time I tell them our journey and our story and give them all the doctor's notes and all this other stuff, they always tell me to do IVF because the IUIs have failed. But they don't realize that I've gotten pregnant three other times in the past you know what I mean so it's very frustrating because I know my body can get pregnant can I stay that way I have no clue you know what I mean so I want to be able to get pregnant and try progesterone and see what that where that leads me but I can't even get pregnant so I'm praying that it can happen um, my main focus like I said is um, this weight loss and no I don't think I'm this huge person or anything like that um, I just feel like everybody needs to be comfortable in their own skin and so I'm not because this is not where I used to be and so I just want to get back to a comfortable weight for me and I know that that will help my thyroid because it did in the past it made me lower my dosage of my medication and so I would like to lower it again um yeah I have to do a uh, MRI of my pituitary gland soon and my thyroid also I have to do an ultrasound so that's gonna be fun and I'm continuing to work I am getting going to try to get a certification in technology that I'm in so is my husband and that's our goals for right now you know we want to try to do education again and just try different things keep busy and just see what happens you know if it happens it happens but this is our new life just taking things that they as it comes and being okay with the hand that we were dealt because the issue I had before was 
being so upset of the hand that I was dealt. Why me? Why me? Why me? And that's okay to be like that, you know what I mean? But to live there sucks because then it's so lonely and you feel like it's never going to get better. So I don't want to be like that anymore. Me personally, I just want to be happier. Um, it takes so much from my life and from my marriage and from just everything. So yeah, I choose to be happy. I choose to move forward. I choose to accept what I cannot change. What I can change is my weight and my hormones at least a little bit with eating healthy and all that stuff. God bless you guys. Baby dust, sticky dust. To everyone who's announced they're pregnant, God bless you and sticky dust forever. Healthy pregnancy, healthy birth. That's what I wish. God bless.